In this problem, we have an integer sequence a of length n, and we will process q queries. In each query, we are given t, x, and i. If t equals 1, we replace a of x with a of x, x or y. If t equals 2, we print out ax, x or ax plus 1, x or ax plus 2, all the way until ay. So the first thing to notice is that the constraints are really high. So when we do an operation where t equals 2, uh, we have to do that faster than O of n. So we need to update and do this print function in log of n time. So the first thing that we should think about is a segment tree. Right, so this is the code for a segment tree. I think by uh, just search on GitHub, I think Cactal, it should be there. Um, so yeah, this is just a very basic uh, template for a segment tree. And the operation we're doing on all elements is going to be A, X, or B. So now we have to use this tree to solve the problem, right? So we're given N and Q. So first thing, we have to read all the N values of a will so be vector in a oops, n or n c n a i. So now we've read all the values of a. Uh, now we need to make our segment tree. And yeah, an integer should be fine. Yeah, it's two to the thirty. Yeah, so uh, integer will be fine. And segment tree of size n. And now we just put in all our values of a inside the segment tree. So st dot update i. So we at position i we put in the value a i. And now we have to respond to all the q queries. So we're given t, x, and y. So, y. so if we notice here, in our vector a and thus in our segment tree, everything is going to be zero indexed. But in the problem given, x and y are going to be one indexed, right? So then we do minus minus x, minus minus y. So if t equals 1, we just let ax x or equal with y. And then we have to update that in our segment tree as well. Update at position x, we put in the new value of ax that we calculated. And if, whoops, it's very low. Uh, otherwise, if t equals 2, then what we have to do is we have to query uh, x and y plus 1. And then that on a new line. So why is this a plus one? So in this implementation of a segment tree, when we query, we'll query from B all the way until, but not including E. But in this problem, we also want to include Y. So therefore we just have the end of the sequence be one, one plus Y. And I think this should work. Oh no. Wait, why am I printing out an extra thing? Uh, vector and a n written a i looks good. We make a segment tree of size n for n s t dot update i a i for q in t x. Oh, I don't see in the t here. Okay, that, that is a silly mistake. Should be fine now. x y minus minus x ah the issue here is we change the value of y here when we uh, zero index it so therefore um, this value of y will not be correct uh, so this would actually have to be y plus one yeah this is a I should have just one index everything but uh, yeah I think nonetheless this should work fine 
three, two, one. Okay, perfect. Oh yeah, so while that's running, again, just to make this clear, uh, we save everything in this array, uh, and this array is going to be zero index, but our um, x and y are going to be one indexed. So that's why we have to deal with all of this. And yeah, voila.